Cheers. <laughs> get a little low on mason jar of wine. I'll have to get a nice little refill here in a little bit. Not sure why I'm wearing a backwards hat right now. Um, we just are. So uh, happy Saturday night, everyone who's, uh, you know, tuning in, having a good time. Uh, weather sucks today in Minnesota. That's for damn sure. So any uh, general aviation pilots out there up in the Midwest know that you know, was not a good day to fly. Um, not a good day to get hours. It was a great day to do some groundwork. So, you know, cheers to that. But um, anyway, point of me signing on this evening and having a little chit chat was I was at church tonight um, and a lot of the stuff they talked or we talked about, we talked about, uh, pastor talked about um, expectations, right? I mean, the, the, the talk was about um, losing faith in yourself and losing faith in God. <laughs> but what I was taking from it was also expectations. And one of the quotes that I, I try to live by is expectations are the root of all suffering, which I have found to be very true. Um, but yet my mind, you know, or our minds just don't want to take that lesson for some odd reason. And I can see my hat's all cockeyed and that's bugging me right now. So, um <laughs> So expectations are the root of all suffering. And anyone who watches this video or, you know, thinks about it, right? I mean, you can see that to be true about it. When you expect things to happen a certain way in your life, sometimes they work, but sometimes they don't. And the sometimes that they don't work, right? It really messes with your with your psyche, right? When you expect a situation to to you know, to come out a certain way. And when it doesn't, um, you tend to start to lose faith in life and lose faith in yourself, right? Because then that starts to have like a, a cascade effect, right? You expect one thing to happen, it doesn't happen. You expect another thing to happen, that doesn't happen, right? And then you start to get really bitter on the inside. At least I have. I don't know about anyone else, but um, in my mid 20s, late 20s, even early 30s, right? I'm 34, uh, but super early 30s, right? When I would expect things to happen a certain way because, right, you know, I worked hard, right? I did this, I did that, and I expect things to happen, right, because of the actions I put forth, but they don't. And that was, you know, it was interesting. I was doing a, a mock interview with a student a long time ago, and I asked him what the greatest lie he was told. And one of the greatest lies I was told was that hard work equals success, right? But that's, to me, that's not true. Um, just because you work hard doesn't mean you're successful, right? You can be a janitor and bust your ass 40, hour, 40, 50, 60 hours a week. That doesn't equal success, right? So that was one of the greatest lies I was told was that hard work equals success. It doesn't work like that, unfortunately, at least in my experience. Now, hard work that's going towards a specific goal is different, right? You know, so to differentiate the two, right, you can bust your ass in a job 40, 50, 60 hours a week. That's one thing. Or you can bust your ass in a job 40, 50, 60 hours a week, but that's going towards a specific goal that you're trying to achieve, right? There are two different scenarios there, right? In one scenario, you can work your ass off and you can expect to make more money. You can expect to get a promotion, but... That might not happen. But on the other flip side of the coin, if you're busting your ass with a specific action plan to achieve set goal and to grow and improve yourself, right, that can lead to something different down the road, right? So there's two different thought processes there that are going on. Um, but that's somewhat of a side tangent, right? So we're talking about expectations of the root of all suffering, right? That's what we're, that's what we're looking at tonight. So... And it's also the, it's a type of a, an attachment that we have to outcomes, right? You know, so I've, I've learned over my life that, you know, instead of having, expecting things to work out the way you want them to, you know, I've learned to try to approach life from a sense of curiosity, right? And a non-attachment style. And I've only gotten good at this over the past few months, um, is having a, a non-attachment to outcomes, right? Approach life with curiosity. Approach all situations with curiosity. Huh, what could happen, right? This might happen. This might not happen. 
I don't know, but I'm curious to see what's going to happen, right? Versus I expect said outcome, right? I expect that if I put action A in, I'm going to get outcome B, right? That does happen sometimes, but when it doesn't, that's a big blow to the ego, right? So you you kind of have to train yourself to train yourself not to expect things to go the way you want them to. Um, And if you can do that, approach situations with more curiosity, you can have more of an open mind. And if you have more of an open mind, you have a chance to learn from the experience, right? If you just expect something to happen and it doesn't, right, you leave that experience with more anger and resentment, right? You don't have a chance to grow. If you can approach situations with curiosity, right, and you don't know what's going to happen, you know, the curious mind can wander, it can grow a little more, right? That non-attachment style, you get a chance to, you know, if you're not attached to the outcome of the situation, you get a chance to grow a little more um, from this, from said situation versus leaving that situation with expectations, leaving there just feeling angry, angry and resentful. Um, so I wanted to keep, I, I say this, I don't know how many times every time I make a video, I want to keep this video short and it, and, and, doubt, and, and doubtably word insert adjective there that I don't, I know people are smarter than me, but um, insert word there that uh, means that it, they typically go on longer than when I want them to, because I tend to ramble, but that's what I've, I've really learned in my, in the past few months and a couple of years and solidified over the past few months is that you just, you really have to approach situations with more curiosity than anything. Curious that, you know, we're going to, we're going to try something. We're going to approach it. We're going to see what happens, but we're not going to have any expectations as to what the outcome is going to be. So that non-attachment style of living, if you will. Um, anyway, Something to think about, whoever does watch this, uh, think about just, you know, having more of a non-attachment, have thinking about approaching situations with more curiosity versus expecting things to happen a certain way. Because anyone who's had some years under their belt, you know, damn well, as well as I do, that things just don't happen the way you want them to, which is okay. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, it's a great thing. It's a great opportunity to grow, but you have to be able to see it that way. You have to see it as a growing opportunity that, you know, everything I want in life doesn't just magically happen. Um, That's just not life, right? And we know that. So try to look at life a little different. Look at situations differently. Try to just be curious about them. You know, try to have a non-attachment style um, in regards to what you want to happen. And I guarantee you, if you can practice that, you're going to be able to look at, you know, not be as stressed out about situations. You're going to look at situations a little more lightly from a little more light of a heart. And it can, you're going to be able to grow a lot more from said situation. I'm using my hands a lot now. I'm like, it's like I'm Italian again. I'm not, I'm like fully German in the region. You know, I don't know. I'm just hand signals, man. It's what I do. But anyway, um, quick short video tonight. I, I again, hope everyone's having a wonderful weekend. Um, as always, I'll throw it out there. Uh, my emails in my YouTube channel, if everyone ever, ever needs to talk or needs some help or just needs something, right? Um, obviously, as anyone who watches these videos, you know, I'm, I got model airplanes back over here. I got a bed without a bed frame back here. I got a pretty sweet picture back up there, but I don't, I don't have nothing fancy. And that's my goal is not to have anything fancy. Um, I'm just a guy who's had some life experiences, who's a pilot, who's been a health coach for years and loves to help people. So that's why I'm here. Um, want to help people. So feel free to reach out, right? Shoot me a message, shoot me an email. I'm happy to talk about stuff, happy to be a health coach, happy just to talk or uh, got a great set of ears, need a bet. I'm good for that. So let me know what you need. All right, everyone. Have a wonderful week. Have a wonderful weekend. And Godspeed, peace, tubular, something. Have a good night.